Okay, welcome to York College everybody. My name is Karen Goodman. I'm Curriculum Leader for Hair, Beauty and Media Makeup. I'm here today to talk to you about beauty therapy. We've got levels one, two and three in beauty therapy. This first slide shows you the room that you are in. This is one of our newly refurbished salons. You can see um, from the back that we use a lot of professional products, Eve Taylor being one of those product, br product brands. Here is a, a picture of some of our students and I'll talk to you a little bit more about students and about the dress code as we progress through the presentation. And this is our second salon which is next door, so very, very similarly decorated. We also have a fully functioning reception and this is where our clients come into college, so our students will meet and greet our clients at reception. They are timetabled onto reception, so they will be answering the telephone, they will be dealing with payments, they'll be developing important communication skills whilst they are uh, behind the desk. And they are always supported by, by a full-time receptionist as well, who will also be there to guide them. We've got a, a, a large library with lots of resources. And these are the entry requirements that you would need to get on to beauty therapy. So to get on to level two beauty therapy, you would need three GCSEs at grade four or above. If you don't have three GCSEs at grade four or above, we will be able to take you on to a level one programme. Students will not automatically go on to level three unless they have a level two qualification because you need to have the level two qualification before you can go on to level three. All students will work towards maths and English unless they already have passed those qualifications at school. And those, the maths and English is embedded into your timetable. So these are our expectations of our students. Obviously we expect students to attend all lessons so that they're not missing vital information. We expect them to work well as a team, to be organised, to be prepared to learning and to generally have that desire to work on clients and provide those treatments. Students, when you first start, will be practising on, on each other, so you will both give and receive all the different treatments that we offer. This is a picture of a typical beauty therapy student. Uh, you can see that students are expected to wear a uniform. Hair must be tied up off the face and neck. Um, students are not allowed to wear any jewellery and nails must be short and unvarnished. All of these are for health and safety, so to protect either the student whilst they're in the salon or the client, so a very, very strict dress code. Students don't have to wear this whilst they're sort of travelling around through, throughout college, you don't have to wear it if they're in, in maths or English, but whenever they are in the commercial salon, they need to, to, to have this uniform on. Shoes must also be clean, flat and fully support the foot. So here you can see uh, a lovely picture of some of our students from last year. The uniform was grey last year, hopefully this year it's going to be black. Um, straight leg trousers, tunic top, but you can see looking really smart before they start their, their lesson. Staff also wear a uniform, we need to wear black, we also need to tie our hair up and you can see some of the key members of staff there on the slide. Now typically a timetable will be spread over three working days. Um, everybody will have a different timetable, or each group of level two students, level one students, level three students will all be in on different days at different times because the, ta the salons need to be timetabled for different lessons. What also will happen is some students will be in different classes depending on their requirements for maths and English. But typically it will be three working days. Because of that, we would ask that any doctor's appointment, any dentist appointment, any uh, driving lessons would be made outside of college time, please. We also encourage students to go on work experience and we'll talk to you a little bit more about that when you start the course. Uh, those of you who are looking at doing adult learning, you need to be 19 years or over. 
and we offer level two and level three beauty therapy on an evening. This is Monday and Wednesday evening from six o'clock till nine o'clock. And the information that follows will apply to adult, as, adult learning on an evening, as well as students who are coming during the day. Uh, historically, we have always had a kit for beauty therapy and students will need to purchase this kit before they start the course. Some students are eligible for a bursary. However, we are currently looking at alternative options for our kits next year, so we'll be able to provide more information on that at a later date. Other costs that you would need to consider for this course would be there are lots of trips that we put on. We have various enrichment activities, things like uh, gel nails and spray tanning, and all of these things may come at an additional cost. Students will also need to produce a portfolio, so they will need to buy a ring binder and some dividers. Those of you that may uh, need some financial support or some financial advice, we'd recommend that you go to the Infozone and they can give you information uh, also on bus timetables, um, all sorts of information that you, you, you may feel that you need in addition to this pr presentation, but a lot of information on, on bursaries and how to pay for your uniforms, etc, etc. So, students who don't have the prerequisite to get onto level two will start at level one. And level one provides an introduction to beauty therapy. So once you have done level one, if you have been successful, then you uh, would be able to get onto level two. And in level one, you learn face painting. An introduction to skincare. So you can see some of the students there practicing on themselves. You would learn an introduction to makeup and basic manicure techniques. So you can see again some of the students here doing some treatments in the main atrium on some clients. I think this was for a charity event that they were doing here. For level two beauty therapy, you will come in September and you'll spend a whole term learning facials. So a facial is an hour long treatment where you would learn to cleanse, exfoliate, massage the skin, put face masks on, um, all sorts of different products and you'll study the skin in detail so you can do a skin analysis, you can recommend products um, and you can specialise your treatments. Here's a picture of Liv doing a facial on Mia. So like I say, you, you'll practice on each other to start with, which is a lovely part of the course. Here we've got um, a, a specialist skin consultation going on, where the therapist is looking at the client's skin under some special glasses to help identify skin types and the client's treatment needs. Um, waxing ends up being one of the student's favourite subjects. A lot of students are a bit worried about waxing to start with. We wax uh, most areas of the body, but at level two we don't do any extreme waxing. Um, so as a student, when you first start, you'll be asked to grow your hairs on your legs, your underarm, your bikini line, so that four, six weeks into the, into the course, your hairs will be long enough to start waxing. And then hopefully by Christmas, everybody will have nice, smooth, uh, soft, hair-free legs, underarms, whatever area it is that you want to practice on that needs doing. So here we've got Neve. she's doing a leg wax on her sister. Uh, lots of health and safety involved when we're doing some of these treatments. You can see she's got her gloves on and her apron on there to protect herself and the client. Students also do manicure treatments. We get a lot of clients that book in for manicures. So here is Ella doing one of our regular clients a manicure treatment and a manicure is all about making the hands and the nails look as nice as they possibly can so students will file the nails they'll do the cuticle work they might put hand masks on do a massage all the different finishes that you get with your nail products involved there and students also get the, the opportunity to learn to learn shellac uh, or gel nails as well 
Pedicure is very similar to manicure, but it's a treatment that you do on the feet. So again, making the feet look as nice as they possibly can. Um, so imagine one of your lessons, you could have your feet in a nice foot spa, relaxing while somebody is tidying your toenails up, painting your toenails, getting rid of any hard skin, and then you would swap over. And once you've developed those skills, then that is when we'll start to bring the clients in and it will work just like a salon in town where your clients are collected from reception, they come in, they have a consultation, they pay for the treatment. The only difference being is that there will be a tutor that will be overseeing what is going on and if you need help and support they will be there to guide you. Students also work towards makeup units, so this is about doing day makeup, evening makeup, special occasion makeup, all the contouring, highlighting, shading, all the fashion things that you would expect to learn in makeup, but it is not just about doing makeup on younger clients, it's also about adapting those skills so you can treat more mature ladies like myself. Uh, so we have a, a, a wide range of clients with different skin types and different needs that come in for makeup. And again, this is something that you are advised to practice a lot at home. So here we've got some students in a typical makeup lesson doing makeups on each other. Eye treatments is one of the most popular units at the moment. With eye treatments, you will learn how to... Um, shape the eyebrows, tint the eyebrows, tint the eyelashes, apply individual eyelashes. So again, practicing on each other, developing those skills before you go for your assessments. When you're doing any form of tinting, we make sure that students and clients have had a patch test. That is a very important thing that we need to do before you can have those treatments. Unit 212 is a, real, is a fun unit. This is about designing and creating an image and every year we have a, a college competition. Uh, last year, or this last January, the competition was in the theatre and it was judged by the Hare Brothers who come from Harrods uh, and they looked at the makeup techniques and the hair and this is all about producing an image uh, for a particular event or an occasion. So we did cover girl last year, sometimes it's been 1940s, 1920s, there's always a, a theme for that and there will be a winner, we get first, second and third. So health and safety, as I've already mentioned, is very, very important. We teach the students to always adhere to all the health and safety regulations to make sure they are practicing in the safest, most effective ways. Um, client care is embedded into every unit. With all the units that we offer, you are graded a pass a merit or a distinction. And those students who aspire to be at a distinction level will be those students who show good client care, who make sure that the client is looked after every step of the journey whilst they're in college. So making sure they're warm, making sure they've got a drink, making sure they ask lots of questions and they, and they give professional advice. Students are also encouraged and they're taught how to retail because when you get out into salons and spas it is really important that you are able to recommend products. Not only does that increase the, the service for your clients but it also will increase the revenue and uh, many students will get commission on that as well. With level two, um, there are various progression opportunities. Some students will leave at level two, they may be a mobile therapist, they may become a sales rep, uh, they might work in, in a small salon, uh, but ideally we would be recommending students to go on to level three. And I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about level three. Okay, so level three is more about body treatments and there is lots of massage involved with level three. Here's some are doing a bamboo massage. We also do Swedish massage, hot stone massage, we've got lava shells for lava shell massage and Indian head massage as well. In the background here you can see Beth doing a vacuum suction massage. 
And this is Holly doing an electrical treatment because once you have learnt those facial skills at level two, we develop those further at level three, incorporate electrical treatments for specific skin conditions. So this is an acne treatment that Holly is doing um, to help that client's skin type. We also do a lot of treatments for ageing purposes as well. And we do a lot of body electrical treatments, which are generally for toning and firming purposes. So galvanic, EMS, vacuum suction, microcurrent. Uh, this is Sally doing an Indian head massage. So this is a treatment that will last 45 minutes, where you will massage the client's head, shoulders, back. Nice relaxing treatment. Individual eyelashes is an optional unit at level three. So this is slightly different to the unit that you do at level two in the respect that this is applying the individual semi-permanent eyelashes. Like I say, this is for students who want to do an extra qualification. Level four beauty therapy is something that we've offered in the past. We don't offer this every year. So I'm not going to talk a huge amount about level four. Uh, simply to say that there are uh, a number of management units in this qualification. Again, we are fortunate to have some light therapy machines and an IPL machine, which is used for skin rejuvenation and hair removal. But as you, you progress through level three, these are options that we will talk to you about at a later date. So for level three, we've got lots of students that go on to many different things. Again, mobile therapists, sales representatives. Some students might go and work in spas, they might go into salons, they might go on cruise ships. So lots and lots of different opportunities are open to, to you all. We make sure that here at York College, students get as much professional advice as they can. We offer as many additional uh, qualifications as we can. So here on this slide, it just shows you some examples of other things that our students have done, which we call enrichment activities just to, um, again, prepare you for industry and make sure you are the best you can possibly be. So these are things like Moroccan Tan, Jane Airedale, Dermalogica, Environ, Skin, Shellac. Each year these might, may change depending on um, the needs of industry. We have really close links with industry. This is Nick and Orla Rhodes who came to do a presentation for us about their um, spa, Face Extractor Medi Spa. Nick Rose is a leading uh, plastic uh, consultant uh, for plastic surgery and he also talks about the links that can be made with the beauty industry and um, his industry as well. So, and Orla talks a lot about um, advanced treatments and what is expected in industry uh, with the students. So that real good careers advice that we get from them. So this is, is an example um, of the type of work that goes on. Um, and again, this is Orla saying what she looks for in a therapist. We also have similar, um, similar advice from Ragdale Hall. So Ragdale Hall is a leading spa in Melton Mowbray. They come, they talk to our students, they explain what they are after, they interview students here at York College. And a number of our students have gone on to work at this leading spa. Um, so just going to skip briefly through some of the slides from where students have gone on to work. So Beth is working at a salon in Moulton, which is where she lives. So these are last year students who, who have left and, and remain in contact with us. Emily Anderson, she's also uh, working in a salon. She's at the Beauty Post in Scarborough. We have Millie, who's working at a, a, another salon, Body Concepts in Scarborough. Emily, who was at Sunshine Salon. Katie, she is working at Old Walk Manor, which is a lovely spa, uh, not too far away. Another lovely spa, Middlethorpe Hall, is where Anna ended up working. Lucy set up her own business. She was particularly interested in doing massage treatments, was quite confident, and felt that she wanted to set up her own business when she left college. Josh, sorry there's no picture there, he's one of our Melton Mowbray students, he's gone to work at Ragdale Hall. I think he has since changed jobs, since then. And Matilda is working at Space NK. 
We also got Rosie, she's working at, a, at the beauty shop in Borough Bridge. So like I said, these are all last year's students. So this is showing you where they have gone to us. Every year it's a little bit different. Here we've got Ella, she's at Envy, which is just down Tadcaster Road. So, what happens now? After you have had this presentation, there will be the opportunity for you to stay behind and, and have a chat. Uh, make sure this is the right course for you. Equally, we could take questions via email uh, or telephone calls. So if there is any more advice and guidance that you need, please do get in touch. Also, follow us on Facebook. We have a college Facebook page and we have a hair and beauty Facebook page as well. As well. There's also other forms of social media such as Instagram, which we're quite active on too. So make sure you check us out, give us a like and follow us there. So thank you very much for today. And please, if you have any questions, uh, my email address is kgoodman at yorkcollege.ac.uk. But equally stay behind and we can have a chat and uh, move forward. So hopefully I'll see most of you in September. Thank you.